Hello everyone, welcome to Biotech Notebook. This is the platform to learn biotechnology concepts. So today we are going to learn performance equation for ideal batch reactor for a single reaction. So first let's see what is batch reactor and how it works. This is our batch reactor which consists of a vertical cylinder which is equipped with an agitator for mixing the content to maintain a uniform composition throughout the reactor. Okay, then it is provided with the external jacket or cooling coil to maintain the temperature of the content. In batch reactor, initially you will charge all your reactants inside the container. Then you will allow the reaction to proceed for particular period of time. Okay, after particular period of time, you will discharge your product from the reactor. Okay, this reactor during the course of the reaction, you won't add any reactant inside the reactor and you won't remove any product from the reactor. So here in batch reactor, your composition is changing with respect to time. Okay, so this process is known as unsteady state operation. But anyway, at any instant, the composition throughout the reactor is uniform. Okay, to maintain a uniform composition throughout the reactor, we have to give a complete mixing inside the reactor. Okay. Then we are going to develop the performance equation for a single fluid reacting in the ideal batch reactor. We call these single fluid reactions as homogeneous reaction. Homogeneous reactions are nothing but chemical reactions that occur in a single phase. For that we have to make a material balance for the limiting component A. Okay, so the limiting component is nothing but which the component which determines the rate of the reaction. Okay, in batch reactor at any instant of time, we are maintaining the composition is uniform throughout the reactor. So, we make the material balance for the whole reactor. So, material balance of uh, the limiting component A on mole basis at any instant time T is rate of A flow into the reactor that is equal to rate of A that is reactant flow out of the reactor plus rate of disappearance of A by chemical reaction plus rate of accumulation of A within the reactor. Okay, so we can write this equation simply as input is equal to that is flow into the reactor you can write as input. Input is equal to output that is flow out of the reactor plus disappearance plus accumulation. So it is easy to remember. So whenever you are writing the performance equation, you just remember that input is equal to output plus disappearance plus accumulation. Okay, let's derive the expression. In batch reactor, we know that there is no fluid entering or leaving the reactor once the reaction started. So in the above equation, you will cancel it out the input term and output term. So remaining two term only you have, that is disappearance and accumulation. So you write as disappearance is equal to minus accumulation okay next we will evaluate the terms disappearance and accumulation so your first term is disappearance so rate of disappearance of a by reaction is equal to minus r a into v minus r a is nothing but rate of disappearance of a the definition is moles of a reacting divided by time into volume of fluid okay so here we are multiplying this minus r a with v because we are calculating rate of disappearance of a for the whole reactive fluid okay so rate of disappearance of a is equal to minus r a into v okay so you know the unit should be moles per time second term is accumulation that is rate of accumulation of a in moles per time is equal to minus d n a divided by dt that is number of moles of a disappearing with respect to time okay then we can write this uh, n a that is number of moles of a in terms of conversion okay the formula is n a is equal to n a naught into 1 minus x a okay so we can differentiate this that is d n a is equal to here n a naught is constant okay so the no, say a first term becomes zero okay. so d n a is equal to minus n a naught into d x a you just substitute here so minus n a naught into d x a divided by d t okay so you can substitute these two terms in equation one so we will get the equation as minus r a into v okay is equal to n a naught into d x a divided by d t so just rearrange the equation so d t is equal to n a naught into d x a divided by minus r a into v 
limits next you integrate within the limits that is at time t is equal to 0 your conversion is 0 so xa is equal to 0 and at any time t your conversion is xa so just integrate integration of 0 to t dt is equal to na naught is constant you just take out from the integration so na naught into integration of 0 to xa dxa divided by minus ra into v so integration of dt is nothing but t so t is equal to na naught into integration of 0 to xa dxa divided by minus ra into v equation number three is the general performance equation which shows the time required to achieve a conversion xa for either isothermal or non-isothermal operation okay then we can simplify this equation number three that is general performance equation for number of situations that is for varying volume system and for constant density system okay so case one for constant density or constant volume system we are going to modify the performance equation of batch reactor okay so we know that the performance equation of batch reactor is t is equal to na naught integration of zero to xa dxa by minus rk into v so here we are going to study for constant volume system so you have to take volume out of your integral sign okay so for constant volume system t is equal to na naught divided by v integration of 0 to xa dxa divided by minus ra okay here na naught divided by v is equal to ca naught that is initial concentration of your reactant so t is equal to ca naught into integration of 0 to xa dxa divided by minus ra next you can write the above equation in terms of concentration so this equation is in terms of conversion next we are going to write in terms of concentration okay so for that we know that uh, concentration in terms of conversion that is ca is equal to ca naught into 1 minus xa so ca is equal to just multiply ca naught minus ca naught into xa we differentiate dca is equal to ca naught initial concentration of initial concentration of reactant that is zero so minus ca naught into dxa so dxa is equal to minus dca divided by ca naught so just substitute in the equation in terms of conversion so t is equal to ca naught into integration of ca naught to ca that is at the time t is equal to zero your uh, initial concentration is ca naught at any time t your concentration is ca that is your limits okay so in, in in place of dxa you have to substitute minus dca divided by ca naught and minus ra so here ca naught is initial concentration of reactant a it is constant so you can take this term out of your integral sign so you can cancel it out this ca naught uh, to numerator and denominator so this equation reduces to t is equal to minus integration of ca naught to ca dca divided by ra so, so the performance equation in terms of conversion is t is equal to ca naught into 0 to xa dxa divided by minus ra and in terms of concentration is minus integration of ca naught to ca dca divided by minus ra for ea is equal to 0 this constant volume system most of the liquid liquid phase reactions are example for constant volume system okay the next case two for varying volume system okay for all reaction which the volume of reacting mixture changes proportionally with the conversion okay such as in single gas phase reaction so example for varying volume system is gas phase reaction okay so in gas phase reaction you will uh, see a significant density changes so for that reactions we have to substitute for volume b is equal to v naught into 1 plus epsilon a xa okay where epsilon a is the fractional change in volume of the system between no conversion and the complete conversion so equation 3 becomes t is equal to n a naught into 0 to xa dxa divided by minus r a into v and you have to substitute in terms of v v is equal to v naught into 1 plus epsilon a xa Okay, so n a naught divided by v naught so here v naught is initial volume of your reacting fluid that is constant so you have to take uh, out of your integral sign so n a naught divided by v naught is equal to 0 to xa dxa divided by minus r a into 1 plus epsilon a xa substitute n a naught divided by v naught is equal to c a naught so t is equal to c a naught into 0 to xa divided by dxa minus r a into 1 plus epsilon a xa so this is the performance equation for varying volume system in terms of conversion. Okay, next we will see graphical representation for the performance equation of batch reactor and it is uh, applicable for both isothermal and non-isothermal process. 
graph one is for general performance equation that is t is equal to n a naught into 0 to integration of 0 to x a dx a divided by minus r a into v okay in the first graph your x axis is 0 to x a always you have to take your limit in the performance equation as a x axis okay then your y axis is 1 by minus r a into v that is a part inside your integration sign okay mm -hmm. area under the curve is your result that is t by n a naught so mm, from this graph you can calculate the time required for your desired conversion in graph 2 and 3 is for constant density system and graph 2 in terms of conversion your x axis is 0 to x a and y axis is 1 by minus r a so you will get the area under the curve as t divided by c a naught okay and uh, uh, graph 3 is for uh, the performance equation in terms of concentration so here x axis is c a naught to c a so initial concentration to final concentration your y axis is 1 by minus r a and area under the curve you will give directly the time required for the conversion that is area is equal to t 